Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve this word problem. It says that Mrs. Jones bought 1.65 kilograms of meat. She cooked a pie using one third of it and froze the rest. What is the mass of the meat in grams that she froze? So here what we have to do is we have to deal with decimals as well as fractions. But don't worry, it's not as complicated as it looks, all right? So let's start with a model diagram so we don't get any more confused. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a model diagram here for the mass of the meat, okay? So this is the mass of the meat, so I'm just gonna call it meat. And this is 1.65 kilograms, okay? So she had 1.65 kilograms of meat and what she did with that was she made pie using one third of it and froze the rest. Okay, now what this one third means is that if this block, okay, this block that represents the mass of the meat, if this is divided into three parts, then one part out of those three parts is what she used for making the pie. So let's do that. Let's divide this block into three equal parts. Okay, now what she did was she used one third of this block of meat, which means one of the three parts, okay, she used one of the three parts for making a pie. So one of the three parts was used for making the pie and the rest she froze. So this part she froze and this part also she froze. And what we have to find out is how much these two together are equal to, okay? If this is how much she froze, then how much is that equal to? This is what we have to find out. Now, if you look at the model, it's quite obvious that all you have to do is you have to divide this mass, which is 1.65 kgs, into three equal parts. So let's do that. Well, what is 1.65 kgs equal to when it's divided by three? Okay, so what is this equal to? Well, what this is equal to is, let's do the calculation here, 1.65 divided by three. So this is gonna give you 0 0.5. So you have 15 here, 1 and 5, and 0 0.55. So what you have is you have 0 0.55 kgs, okay? So each part is equal to 0 0.55 kgs. So this is equal to 0 0.55 kgs, all right? So either you could do 0 0.55 times 2 to get the amount that she froze, or you could simply do 1.65 kgs minus 0 0.55. But let's use subtraction. So what we're going to do is we have 1.65 kgs, which is the total mass of the meat that she bought, and then we subtract from it 0 0.55 kgs, which is the mass of the meat that she used for making the pie. And what we get is we get zero here, we get one here, and we get one here. So this tells you that these two parts together are equal to 1.10 kgs. So the total amount of meat that she froze was equal to 1.10 kgs. Now, the question requires us to find out this mass in grams, okay? Not kilograms, in grams. So all we have to do now is convert this amount, which is 1.10 kg, to grams. Now, we know that 1 kg, all right, 1 kg is equal to 1,000 grams, right? 1 kg is equal to 1,000 grams. So then how much is 1.10 kg equal to? Well, 1.10 kg is obviously equal to 1.10 times 1,000, right? When going from a bigger unit to a smaller unit, you multiply, right? So this is 1.10 times 1,000. And that's equal to what? Well, the decimal point moves three places to the right because you're multiplying by 1,000, which has got three zeros. So this is equal to 1100.0 grams. Well, this is as good as saying 1100 grams. You can get rid of this zero after the decimal point. So 1.10 kilograms is equal to 1,100 grams. And that's the answer to this question. All right, that's the end of this word problem. For more word problems and also to see how good you're getting at math, do visit www.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.